Teddy Fort Ladder and I went down, had dinner. We went in and played a few. They've had the poker palace in a lot of the back rooms. So we played poker till midnight. And we came walking back up the street. And I said, well, come on in. We'll, we'll have a nightcap. And we were talking about stuff in the show and stuff. And I looked out the window. It's snowing and pretty good. And so I got on the phone and called. Uh, there was a gentleman who was a teamster who I knew had a four-wheel drive pickup. And the guy by the name was Jim Opie, greatest guy in captivity. And uh, I said, Jim, I got to go look at the location, and which was outside of Columbia, California, called Yankee Hill. So we drove up there, and the roads were a good foot deep at that time, because it had been snowing a lot harder up there than what I'd seen. So through Jim Opie, he knew the people at the city plow department, and he got four trucks to go up and start plowing out the roads. Uh, we got most of the truck, camper truck in. Uh, a lot of the trucks we did not get in, even as they, because they didn't have time to plow it all out. It was a scene where they get in the wagon and go away. And this was the cabin. They came out of the cabin, and we plowed out. We all shoveled snow. We plowed out where the boob could go forward or go backwards, and the lens would go forward, and it looked like the distance was greater than it actually was. And that was our first day of shooting of Little House Prairie. And it's just such a, what's, it's such a beautiful, iconic beginning. Yeah. To the series. Yeah. And to have had that, I mean, it's just, you just couldn't have planned that. If no. You, if you, actually, if you, you would have wanted to plan it if you we could. We all said that was better. Yeah. Then we had a scene where Victor French is supposed to come across, it's Mr. Edwards, across the uh, river with his underwear over his head. He's coming to the house for Christmas. Now, I found a place which actually, uh, next to the river, about Oh, 100 yards away, or not quite, maybe not 50 yards, uh, was a ranger station, which was closed for the season. So I got permission to have them plow the parking lot out where I could park all our trucks. Then we took plywood and leapfrogged it, all equipment down to the river, lights, cameras, everything. and. Uh, the only one shot we were going to get is this one shot. And so at lunchtime, we broke for lunch, still hadn't shot it. Came back after lunch, the, everything was perfect. And Mike was using a long lens, but he, we had lights, but he wanted sunlight as well. And just as we were supposed to roll a camera, a big cloud comes across, so we wait. Victor has walked upstream. I took him upstream. He's gone across in his underwear. He's got a wetsuit on underneath, and he's got his clothes over his head, and he's sitting on a rock over there, freezing cold. So I went to the prop department, got a bottle of brandy, and I threw it over to him. He's over there slugging the brandy to keep warm. And finally, the sun came back out, and he walked across the river. And that was our shot for the day. It's a beautiful shot, too. Now, we went back to the parking lot, and everything is, I'm getting everything out. And I'm always the last truck. I rode it with the truck on occasions like that. And I was always the first one out, and we were the last one to leave. Now, this was like a Greyhound bus, the size. And uh, Clyde is trying to back up, because he's got to make a turn. Well, the ice, the, the parking lot had melted during the day where we took the snow out, and now it's water turning to ice, and the wheels are spinning like crazy. Well, I, as a gag, I leaned on the truck, and as it was bouncing, it started to move. And I moved it 45 degrees and walked back, got the truck, and I said, let's get the hell out of here. Ha <laughs> ha.